Hi friends, it's Miss Blaney here again with this week's foundations. Let's get started today by going over some of our letter sounds. I'll give you a chance and then I'll say it. Here we go. You up a. Uh. G game g. P pan p. V van v. J jug j. Very good. We know this letter says S snake s. But we also know if S is used as a suffix or put on the end of a word, it can also sometimes make the z sound. Like in S bugs z. Great job. Let's go over our digraphs. Remember, digraphs are two letters, stick together, and make one sound. T H thumb th. C H chin ch. S H ship sh. W H whistle w. C K sock k. Great. And last but not least, our glue sounds. A L L ball all. A N fan an. A M ham am. Awesome job. Let's keep going. All right, guys, let's get started with some trick words. Remember, trick words we just have to recognize and know. So let's read them together. I'll give you a second to try and then I'll say it. Of, as, has, to, into, we, he, she, be, me, or, for, you, your, I, they, was, one, said, from, have, do, does, are, were, who, what, when, where, there, here. Super job, Dalmatians. Okay, friends, I want you to grab something to write with and something to write on. I'm going to use my journal and let's do our word of the day cards for this week. So open up to a fresh, clean page. And let's get started with our first word. I want you to try to sound it out. I see it has a suffix S. I can cover that up while I'm sounding out the base word. Sh L shell. The whole word is shells. Let's write it and mark it up. All right, let's scoop the base word shell. Let's circle our suffix s. I see a digraph that makes one sound. I see a bonus l. Now let's write a sentence. You can write the same sentence as me, or you can come up with your own. I'm gonna write the sentence, she found 30 shells. Start with a capital letter. She 
Archie found Bertie Shells. Don't forget punctuation. Pause this video if you need more time. Let's try another one. Try reading this word. Read the base word first. D uh, duck. The whole word is ducks. Let's write it and mark it up. Scoop your base word. Circle your suffix s. I see a digraph. Let's write a sentence. You can make up your own or you can do the same one as me. Let's do the ducks swim in the pond. The ducks swim. The ducks swim in the pond. Great job. Pause this video if you need more time. And last one for today. Can you read it? Very good. P in pin. The whole word is pins. Let's write it and mark it up. Scoop your base word, pin. Circle your suffix s. You can write the same sentence as me or you can write one of your own. This type of pins is not the type of pin that you write with. Have you ever heard of a safety pin? I'm gonna write the sentence, she pins the long dress. She pins the long dress. Pause this video if you need more time. Super job, friends. Okay, friends, go ahead and get your dry erase board or the manipulative pack or a journal or just some regular paper. And let's do some dictation. Let's start with some sounds. The first sound I want you to write are the letters that make the sound qua, 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 like in the word queen. Q, U, buddy letters. Q never leaves without U. Now write the letters that can make the sound Z. Of course the letter Z can say Z, but there's another letter, what is it? The suffix S, good job. On the end of words, it can sometimes say Z. Write the letters that stick together and say th, th, th. Like in the word thumb. T-H. Great job. Now let's do some words. Try the word tells. Tells. The base word is tell. T -e -l. T -e -l. I know it needs a bonus L. What do you add to make it say tells? Suffix s. Great job. You can scoop the base word, circle your suffix, and put a star over your bonus letter. Write the word ships. Ships. The base word is ship. 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 Add something to make it say ships. The suffix s. Scoop your base word. Circle your suffix. 
underline your dot graph. Good job. Let's write the word chins. Chins. The base word is chin. Ch in. Ch I n. What do I add to make it say chins? The suffix s. Scoop your base word. Circle your suffix. Underline ch. Write the word quits. Quits. The base word is quit. Qua it. Qua it. What do I add to make it say quits? The suffix s. Scoop your base word, circle your suffix. Let's do one more word. Write the word walls. Walls. The base word is wall. W all. W all. I know. All is the glued sound A L L. Ball all. What do I add to make it say walls? The suffix s. Scoop your base word. Circle your suffix. You can put a box around your glute sound and a star of your bonus. Pause this video if you need more time. Let's do two sentences. Go ahead and make room and I will too. Let's write the sentence. Who said the kids had chips and dip? Who said the kids had chips and dip? Who is one of our trick words. Start with a capital W. Who said another trick word said. Who said the, we know how to spell the. Who said the kids? I hear the base word kid, k id, k id. Then I add something to make it say kids. Who said the kids had chips and dip? <sighs> add. Who said the kids had chips? The base word is chip. Ch Ip. Chips. Who said the kids had chips and d -ip. Who said the kids had chips and dip? This is an asking question. Look, it starts with an asking word, who? So it needs a question mark. Now let's do the sentence, where are your tan socks? Where are your tan socks? Where is a trick word? Start with a capital letter in your new sentence. Where are, another trick word, are. Where are your tan socks? Your, another trick word. Where are your t -an? t an Where are your tan socks? The base word is sock. S-ock. S-ock. Make sure you have the digraph CK. Where are your tan socks? Needs a suffix S. Another asking word. I think it's an asking sentence or a question. Where are your tan socks? Yep. Super fantastic, friends. Make sure you put the lid tight on your marker and clear your board off good. 
Okay, guys, we've been talking about the suffix s at the end of words, and we also have been talking about different types of words. We know about nouns, being a person, place, thing, or idea, and we also know about verbs, and we know verbs are action words or things you can do. So, we have two categories that we're going to sort our suffix s words in because the suffix s can make a word be more than one noun or it can make an action word. So, let's read this one. Ch in chin is the base word. Chins is the whole word. Chins. Is that a person, place or thing? Or is chins an action? Chins are a thing. We have them on our bodies. Chins is a noun. Okay, read the next one. Shut. Shut is the base word. Shuts is the whole word. Is shuts a noun or a verb? Shuts is something I can do. It's an action. Very good, it's a verb. All right, try this one. Sip. Sip is the base word. Sips is the whole word. Is sips a person, place, thing, or idea? Or is sips an action word? Think of the sentence, Miss Blaney sips her coffee. Very good, it's an action word, something you do. All right, here comes another. R -ah. Rock is the base word. Rocks is the whole word. Do you think it's a noun or a verb? This one's tricky because it could be either one. Rocks, like the rocks you find outside that are hard and like gravel, rocks is a noun that you can hold those in your hand. However, rocks can also be a verb. Think about this sentence. The mother rocks her baby to sleep. In that sentence, rocks could be a verb. So it could be either or. We'll put it in the middle. All right, rug. Rug is the base word. Rugs is the whole word. What do you think? Is it a noun or is it a verb? Rugs, that means more than one rug, which is a thing or a noun. All right. Eh, mm. Pen is the base word. Pens is the whole word. This is the kind of pen that your teacher writes with. So is it a noun or a verb? Pens are a thing. It's a noun. Great job. R un runs. Noun or verb. Runs is an action. It's a verb. And last one, hill, hills, hills, noun or a verb. Hills are a place, so hills is a noun. Great job, friends.